Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys here inspiring you all to live out loud via hair, fashion, and lifestyle. And today, we are here doing something a little bit different. As we all know, synthetic wigs come out like clockwork. Every month there's something new coming out. But I noticed after a while it does become a little bit repetitive. And I find myself thinking about the wigs from the past. You know, just old wigs that I really enjoy and still love to this day. Even ones that I recently tried in the past you know, a year or two that I felt like didn't really get enough shine. So, I am starting a three-part series where I'm talking about the synthetic wigs I feel like y'all are sleeping on. I'm really excited about this mini-series. Let me know if you're excited too in the comments. Premiere party if you're watching. Thank you so much for joining me in the chat. And yeah, this should be, this should be really good. Also, if you feel like there are synthetic wigs that I've been sleeping on, feel free. To lay it all out in the comments y'all know i love when y'all talk to me i love to comment back so you know let's have a conversation now if you are curious about the hair that i'm wearing this is not my hair <laughs> this is a ponytail y'all i haven't worn a ponytail in a hot minute and i'm really excited about this one it's not synthetic though it's human hair but it's super affordable i bought it from amazon and i'm loving it especially in this updo i'll leave a link for it in my description box in case y'all are interested i actually have two of them one in a longer length i think i'm just gonna do a dedicated video on both ponytails if that's something that you want to see later on this month let me know in the comments because it'll encourage me to get that video out for y'all faster i mean look at this this joint <laughs> this joint looks like my hair oh my god i'm impressed so impressed this is the 12 inch one and this was 39 dollars on amazon if you want something shorter they do have a 10 inch available i suggest you grab it up the only thing i will say is that with this ponytail i definitely need some bobby pins i'm not confident in the combs securing this by itself so if you grab this pony, grab some bobby pins as well. Now, as y'all know, today is $20 Tuesday where I showcase super affordable wigs for the lovely $20 price range and below. So all the wigs on this list will be in that price range. However, I do have Amazon affiliate links. A few of the wigs on this list might be listed a little bit higher than the $20 range on Amazon. However, you can easily do a Google search and find these wigs at your favorite wig website. I just wanna give that disclaimer because I don't want people to be confused if they see a price that is higher than what is expected. Now, if you do decide to shop through my links, do know that you are directly supporting my channel and y'all, it means so much to me. Y'all are pouring right into me. I can't thank y'all enough. All right, starting with the first synthetic wig that I feel like y'all are sleeping on, Outre Nakaya. Ooh, oh my gosh. This. <laughs> wow. Y'all, this is my hair. Straight up and down. Don't tell nobody it's between you and I, but this is my hair. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it. Y'all need to grab this wig. First of all, y'all know that I love texture. And Utre Nakaya, I mean, the way, like, it's insane how much she mimics my natural hair blown out and curled. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. If you've tried Nakaya, please let me know in the comments. In general, there aren't a lot of reviews on Outre Nakaya and I'm just lost. Like, why not? Because for those who have type 4 hair like me, this is the type of wig that is made for us. And it looks so good, especially the older the unit gets. All right, next on my list of synthetic wigs you've slept on is another one by Outre, Nisha H301. I don't know how many times I need to talk about this wig before y'all understand how much I love this unit. I love the texture, I love the body, the curls, it's everything to me. That's why I put it at the top of my list for a video I did where I talked about my top 10 synthetic wigs of 2021. I believe it was number two, right? Because I believe Nakai was number one. So I adore that unit. And if you haven't tried that half wig yet, stop playing add it to the cart. With a half wig, you can either wear it as a headband wig or you can take out your own natural hair and use it to put it up like maybe in a half up, half down style or just leave some of your edges out and leave the hair out as it is. I also love the way it looks cut short because you know, it's a synthetic wig. So over time, it's gonna get a little bit ratty. I just snipped off a few inches and it was like a brand new wig. <laughs> H301 is definitely one of my favorite niches of all time at this point, and I want it to be y'all favorite too. All right, next on my synthetic ways you slept on list is a made beauty wig. Her name is Kalissa. I reviewed this 
wig like what two years ago i bought it off the whim and what i loved most about this wig is the ease and the color when i did this video i basically said watch me put this wig on in real time and i think i did it in another 10 minutes it comes with no lace to cut off you plop it on you fix it up with your pressed powder you can cut a v in the lace if you want to but i do like that even though it doesn't come with lace that calissa wig does not come with a harsh line of demarcation and the color choice absolutely love the blend of that color I can't remember it off the top now, but I will put it in the description box. It's a solid wig. I also appreciate the density. When it comes to my straighter wigs, I prefer lighter density. So if you're like me, you will definitely like the Kalissa wig. Another wig that I just have not seen around on the YT like that. When she came out, it was crickets, you know what I mean? But Made Beauty is not like a very popular brand and I feel like it often gets swept under the rug, although they do have units that are very pretty. I also think they are associated with the Shake and Go brand, which encompasses free choice equal, model model hair. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know why. Why Made Beauty doesn't get as much shine? Probably because people are more attentive towards you know the outres and the sensationals but i would encourage y'all to check out made beauty because they have some nice units affordable units that i think you would like now again if you see anything on this list everything is linked in my description box my description box is super detailed y'all i work really hard to make sure i have all the information for y'all in there but of course if i miss something don't be shy, comment to me and let me know if you can't find something in there and I'll help you out. Next on the list of wigs that y'all have been sleeping on is a model model wig, model model number 15. I ain't gonna change for you. I know who I am and that's true. No, I ain't gonna change. Oh my God, this wig is such a throwback for me. This was like my first year doing YouTube, but I had this wig before like prior to like probably three other times if you don't know i love a good bang wig i love a good bang wig and this one right here perfect i love the cut of the bangs i like like a lighter density bang i don't really like the thick cut bangs so this was perfect for me i love the length i like the color i've had three colors i've had number two 430p and a 27 color i loved all of them especially the 430p color if you're the type of girl that you know shies away from color but you're trying to inch your way in there like tiptoe try the 430p blend i really think you will like it it's a nice shade of brown especially if you're my complexion it looks really good it doesn't like blend in with my skin i feel like even though it's subtle it still pops in a way I, I just really like it and just a quick trick you'll notice with a lot of bang wigs you know they don't come with a lace closure except for Futures Eco Brisa RIP I love that wig so much oh my god this one is just your normal closure wig with no lace but I just press it down with heat I've used my blow dryer to press it down I've used a barrel iron so that way it doesn't look like a comb at the top you know what I mean if you need a good bang wig a short one a cutie patootie grab number 15. so this next wig i actually found this on amazon back when the headband wig trend was popping this is a twist bun wig and i felt like y'all really slept on this unit for real be straight out the pack it just comes with like a black you know thick band and the twist bun but once you put a pretty wrap around it it looks really cute I just want more people to know about it. It's definitely one of those throw on and go type of units. And for my girls who suffer from hair loss along your edges, maybe you deal with alopecia, PCOS, things like that. A wig like this is perfect for you because you don't have to show your edges at all. Honey, not at all. So if you like the twist bun style and if you don't want to show your edges, grab this wig, try it out. I think you will like it. I've tried another wig like this too, but it was really flimsy with the bun part. So I recommend this one because it's not flimsy. And it comes with an adjustable band, so that way you can tighten it to fit your head how you need it to. But be careful with that band because I have adjusted mine too tight and I got a headache. So just be mindful of that. Okay, since we are talking about headband wigs, Here's another wig that I feel like y'all are currently sleeping on. Back then, y'all were on it, you know, when I put out my very first Amazon headband wig video. Y'all really liked it. But as things have died down, I think 
think this wig should still be a contender. And it's this Afro headband wig from Amazon. I think this is the easiest headband wig ever. Ever. Literally. I want you to see how I put this joint on. Definitely another kinky curly wig. Alright, toss her on. That strap. Done. I can't believe how easy this was. You saw how I did it in real time. This joint looks like it could be my natural hair. Look at it. For how much? Under $25? Really, Amazon? <laughs> you don't need no lace. You don't need no glue. Just throw it on and head out the door. Did y'all see that? No work needed. I didn't have to fluff out the curls or anything. So let's say you want a style maybe similar to this human hair one that I'm rocking right now, but you don't necessarily want to like wash it or fluff it out, things like that. You just want it to be ready to go throughout the pack. Try this one out. It's only $19.99 on Amazon. It doesn't hurt. I think it looks really natural, especially if you are a type 4 baddie like me. Next on my list of synthetic wigs you've been sleeping on is an Outre wig, Rowena. This wig is from the Daily Wig Collection. And y'all slept hard on Miss Rowena, I, I feel like. I can't remember what was going on at the time when this came out, like two years ago. But, oh my god, I love this wig. I haven't worn it in a very long time. But do you see how natural it looks? It looks like I just came out of a salon. The density is closer to what my hair looks like when I straighten my natural hair, which I never do. But when I used to, it would look like that. It just looks super natural. Like there's no way you're thinking that's a wig. Seriously, the way it looks on. And I also love that it's a shorter wig because you know what synthetic wigs, they tangle over time, especially dealing with fabric from our clothing. You know, synthetic wigs don't like all the cotton and wool blends. Things like that, no. Fabric synthetic wigs just don't really mix. So I like having shorter wigs to, you know, switch it up. And I like that they last longer. To me, Outre Moana is a great beginner friendly wig. Was there lace to cut? No, there's no lace to cut because it's a daily wig. So if you're new to wigs, I suggest you try her out. Now, if you are new to synthetic wigs, you may, you know, realize like the tangling can get a little bit excessive. I like to go in with my Simply Styling Silicone Spray. It's available on Amazon. It's great for the tangling, moisturizing, and just overall maintenance of your wig. It's not gonna prevent tangling forever, but it will definitely help your wigs last longer. Highly suggest you get that product. I will talk about it forever and ever because it's a must have in my arsenal. And if you're watching this video, especially if you're new to synthetic wigs, you need to have that in your life. Seriously, it's a must. Next on my list of synthetic wigs that you've been sleeping on is by the company Vela Vela and it's the wig Bounce Bob. You need to chill out with that mess Cause you can't keep having me stressed Cause every time my phone rings It seems to be you and I'm praying that it is someone else So chill out Jump out your shoes should have gotten way more shine when it first came out there are reviews out on it but not a lot and I feel like it looks good on damn near everyone I see it on there aren't a lot of wigs like this wig there are a lot of synthetic wigs that have a twist out look and it looks natural you know what I mean now the one con I would say is the fibers are you know very dry it's can't go on fibers you know cheaper fibers but I don't mind because the look is so ugh. Ugh. you can't tell me nothing when I wear a bounce bob I have purchased that wig probably like four times in my you know wig journey the longest I wore one was like oh my god probably like six months straight so crazy like that because i would just plop it on going to work every single day like five days a week that was my girl Bella Bella bounce bob has held me down i did also feature her in one of my top 10 videos too because she's just it by the way y'all need to check out my top 10 series i've talked about my top 10 20 dollar wigs synthetic wigs top 10 straight wigs i'll leave the playlist in my description box lots of goodies in there make sure you check it out after this video but yes y'all if you haven't tried bounce bob yet and if you're looking for a twist out wig try that wig now it's not a wig that i just wear straight up like it is out the pack and i don't do that with barely 
any of my synthetic wigs, you do have to customize it to fit and frame your face well. So you'll notice in the video where I reviewed her, I was cutting and shaping her and she looks beautiful. So if you need a tutorial, check out my review as well, which will be linked in the description box. And yeah, that should help you out. All right, the last wig that y'all have been sleeping on. The last synthetic wig that I'm gonna talk about today is by Outre and it is Miss Electra Fro. This wig, ugh, I just want you to look at it. Look at this afro wig and look at how much it mimics type 4 hair. Are you kidding me? What is happening? <laughs> I was floored when I threw this joint on. Seriously. Gorgeous unit. Again, not a wig that you wear straight out the pack. You gotta, you gotta chop her up a little bit because I definitely did in my video. Um, but the finished result, honey, you look regal. But this is a more recent wig by Outre that I don't see a lot of people talking about and I just want more people to know about this wig and try it out, especially if you like natural hair, especially if you have type four hair like me. This is a wig you need to try. I know it can be a little bit cumbersome and overwhelming for those who may not be used to all that hair, but I think it was just fun to play around with and once I got her to my liking, I was in love. So Electra Fro, honey, you have my heart. <laughs> y'all those are all the synthetic wigs that i feel like y'all have been sleeping on 20 dollars tuesday edition check the links you'll see that they're in the 20 dollars price range again there might be two or three that are a little bit higher through the amazon links but shop around feel free or if you want to support me shop through my links it means a lot let me know did i put y'all on to any of these wigs have you heard of all of them or maybe you haven't please comment down below let's chit chat and talk about some of our favorites from this video. I am gonna be doing a part two, and in the part two, it'll feature specifically textured wigs that I feel like y'all have been sleeping on. And I definitely have a few that I know for sure that I wasn't really seeing around on the YT like that, that y'all need to have in your collection. So just look out for that video, it's coming out this month in March, and so will part three. And if you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I can't believe we are in March of 2022. Y'all, what's good? I have, look, I have so much content coming and I'm really excited to share with y'all different kind of content too. Like, yeah, y'all know we do hair and fashion here now on this channel, but I got a little, a little something coming, a little commentary coming as well. So just stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> And if you want to see some more of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me for $20 Tuesday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!